How's it going guys? Kevin back at you with another video. Today's video we're checking out my clipless body mounting solution for the Vanquish VS410 Pro and Ultra. Super happy to get this one out there. I know a lot of people have been asking for this. This is going to be using my twist off system, which these little guys here can be paint matched to the body color of your truck. They're resin printed. They accept any of your hardware store paints really well. So feel free to paint match them, make them blend in even more to your truck. Uh, get rid of those ugly body clips and just improve the quality of life with this solution. So with that, I'll show you guys how it works and how to install it. Let's get to it. All right, so getting into it here, this is super, super simple. It can be done one-handed when the strakes are vertical like this. This means that the latching system or the locking system here is in the lock position. And I'll set you guys down here for one second just to show you that I need two hands to pick this guy up so I can pick up the entire weight of the truck with this. And then one-handed here, just a simple twist. You'll feel that resistance. That resistance is the locking mechanism. So simple twist here, just like that. And then a little hard to pick up the body with just one hand, but you can carefully get underneath it. And then that's where we can see underneath. So we have two small posts in the rear. Then we have our front brace in the front. This is made of Formlabs durable resin, so it's super impact resistant, super tough and strong. Now it's not gonna be indestructible, but it should certainly take a beating for you. And then we've got the underside here, so front and rear. So we'll flip this over carefully. Don't wanna scratch up this nice body before I get it out on the rocks and start doing some good old durability testing. Then we twist this guy there, and then just like that, it's on. So I'll set you guys down again. Just pick it up right here. Super, super nice and secure. Like I mentioned earlier, these can easily be paint matched to whatever color um, your truck is. So if you got a red truck, you can paint them red. You can use the same paint, or you can use any of your hardware store paints. It should stick really, really well. There is um, two height adjustments on the front ones. The rear has a little bit more height adjustment, but. Uh, show you guys how that looks here so just the right height in the, in the front and just right in the rear you can raise it up slightly higher if you would wish to do that so there's one extra set of holes um, so that you can lift this up one more notch i think it's about a four millimeter increase and then there's a few more holes on the rear um, if you're doing something else custom there and the way to install those is super, super simple. You basically just, same way as the factory install, so you have the M3 sized screws here. So take those out, drop this piece in. And then in the rear, same story here. So two pieces, drop them in. These ones go all the way flush um, for that factory look. On the body side here, we have uh, M3 by 12 millimeter. So this is all around. And on the underside, you have a matching piece. So let me take this off for you so I can show you guys what it looks like when it's separated. All right, so what this looks like when it's separated is you have the top side for the body. You can see that extends a little bit here and has sort of this keying mechanism. And then on the underside, this is where our M3 lock nut goes in. So you can drop that in and then it has a similar keying feature. So when you place this through the body and you place your M3 by 12 screw through there, you're gonna notice that you wanna make sure that these line up and they mesh together. And then you can see that the strakes are gonna line up with the pieces on the underside and that's what's gonna be controlling the rotation and basically helping to line these pieces up. So if you tighten it down and they're like this and they're not lining up, just sort of carefully twist it until they drop and lock into place and you'll feel that um, when you get it right. And then all you need to do is just tighten it down until you start to see the, the bolt just come through the nylock there. You don't wanna to go too much farther past that. Um, the one thing I will note is because Vanquish actually makes their tools, holes a little bit tighter than some of the other manufacturers, you do have to ream the holes out quite a bit um, to provide the clearance for this. If you ever went back to the body post, you probably wouldn't notice um, too much of a difference, but you do need to ream them out a little bit wider. This is meant for a six millimeter hole, so it's not a very big increase. I'm um, kind of surprised that they had them smaller to begin with. Um, I do provide the option for a body reamer you can pick up on my site as well um, if you don't have one or if you want to pick one up for relatively inexpensive. Um, so with that, thank you guys for checking out this design. I'll pop this on the truck here. 
you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I'm always happy to help. And so putting it back on the truck, like I sort of mentioned, make sure the strakes are sideways. Let you listen to the click there. And it's nice and secure. I love this truck, absolutely loving the metal axles here. Pop my side rails in there so it looks, looks the part, but got super lucky. This was a Trucks of Freedom uh, snag here. So I ended up paying very, very little for this Ultra. Um, it's gonna be an absolute blast to take out on the rocks. Can't wait to go take it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.